Welcome back, my friends, to the Quake. 100% walkthrough for the PC, played through Steam on the Nightmare difficulty setting. We are in Episode 1, Dimension of the Doomed, and this is E1M2, Castle of the Damned. Alright, Castle of the Damned, 42 monsters and 3 secrets to find. We'll let the new enemy over there, the ogre with the chainsaw, walk off to the right by himself before we take care of the grunts. We'll go across the bridge and face two ogres in the next area. Now these guys are armed with chainsaws for melee combat, but are also armed with grenade launchers for ranged combat. Now what I do is I just back up to the stairs and just gun them down with the regular shotgun because their grenades can't really bounce up to where I am. And they also drop two rockets when they die. Now we'll continue forward and we'll kill a grunt on the right bridge and on the left bridge. There they are. But also an ogre under the stained glass window. Ooh, nice shot. They do a lot of damage when they hit you directly. But just rinse and repeat with this ogre and just bring him out and kill him that way. Now on this metallic bridge, there are several places we can go. We can go to the right, to the green armor. We have to jump across. But we don't need the green armor. We already have the yellow one active, so we'll jump back across. We could jump to the double-barreled shotgun, or we can just go under the stained glass and go left to grab it. But we also have this door over here that we will go through for lots and lots of grunts to kill. I just use the regular shotgun on these guys. We also come to the silver door. You need the silver key for it, though. So we'll keep on going and kill more grunts as we see them. and we eventually come to another door. This door opens elsewhere. It actually opens up when you grab the silver key, and you'll see when that will be. For right now, we have to backtrack all the way back out the door to where the double-barreled shotgun is. Now, grabbing the double-barreled shotgun is as far as we will go for right now, because we got some water to explore, so let's go back to the starting area because there are a couple of things we want to do. The first of which is to go under the starting bridge for some nails and then shoot this off-color wall for our very first secret area with some shotgun shells and some health. And we also come to a brand new enemy, the Scrag, who is weak to nails. They shoot like poison darts at you, which do some damage, so make sure they die quickly with the nail gun. If you drop down and head up the ramp, by the way, it opens automatically and takes you back to the grunt room with the silver door. It's just a shortcut to this area. We'll swim to the main hub area here. If you head straight forward, you actually come to the second secret of the map. But we'll get that later in this video. If you head to the left, it will just take you to the familiar first secret with the Scrag. So we'll swim to the elevator and go up. Conveniently, taking us right back to the double-barreled shotgun. 
So we will continue with our nail gun for another scrag. And then jump back to the bridge for a couple of ogres. I like using this area as my hold point because the ogres have a harder time hitting you. As long as you can dodge their attacks. There should be one more ogre though. Here he comes. And once uh, both of the ogres are dead, there is one more ogre, but he is beyond a nail trap. Now these things are nasty. You have to time your way through the darts, through the nails. There he is. We'll get the ogre's attention. And you can actually lure him into the nail trap. Yep, he died. Awesome! We come to the yellow armor, but we'll get to that later. For right now, we'll kill a couple of grunts. Now about this button. What I do is I shoot it with the nail gun and go up the stairs for a couple of scrags that will appear. The button actually raised up steps to get to the non-secret yellow armor, but we'll get to that later. We can also jump down right now and get the second secret in this wall, but we will do that later, I promise. For right now, we'll continue, and the wall to our left will lower with a brand new enemy, the Knight. There are four of them. They are only armed with swords, but you gotta give them respectable distance because they have a wide attack pattern. So you gotta give them respectable distance. Just use the double barrel on them, as well as the ogre. And the nails on the scrag. Now there's the silver key. And here is the door from the other side that opens elsewhere. Again, it opens up when you grab the silver key but a bridge needs to be raised. We will carefully drop down onto some nails. This is a non-secret area, by the way. And this door opens up, and we'll run straight towards the button, which opens up secret area number two, with some more nails. And it takes us to the green armor. So we'll backtrack through the nail trap again. Now, to get the silver key, we have to press the button in the alcove. And that will extend the bridge so we can get the silver key and also open up the regular door, finally. Now inside here, it conveniently takes us to the silver door, but before we go through there, let's get the third and final secret by going back up the stairs, pressing the brick, and it will open up the quad damage. Now you must be rather quick with this, what I do is I grab it and then go through the silver door and kill off all the ogres on the ground level. Then the grunts up top and the ogre inside of the area there. Step on the floor switch and get ready to go in either one of the two teleporters. Because we have a new enemy down below. The Fiend. And once you kill him, two more fiends will spawn. Sometimes you can kill all of them. You know, before the quad damage runs out. 
The Fiend only has a melee attack, but they are very, very quick. That's why I took either one of the two teleporters after stepping on the floor switch to take me up to this non-secret area to snipe them from. So we'll head on through to the exit area. Take out the Scrag, and the Knight, and the Ogre. Pass through the arch to exit. We will exit in a little bit. I could use some shells right there, and also some nails, conveniently, up in the non-secret area. But we also need to go back, like backtrack, up the stairs. Because we need the yellow armor. In this non-secret area. Now we can go back and go through the exit area. And that's it. We are done. Completed! 3 of 3 secrets and 42 of 42 kills. This map is pretty interesting. It has a... It has a ground level, as we see here from this image, with bridges and with ledges and stuff like that, and you can fight the entire map up here. But it also conveniently and maybe even strategically, has an underwater sewage system that you can traverse. I guess that's why it's called Castle of the Damned, because it's a castle, and it has a river sort of running through the castle, which is kind of cool. I like that concept a lot, having this small little castle. It isn't a gigantic castle, but having the small little castle with... Uh, in underwater sewage area to traverse. So technically speaking, you can do this map in two different ways. The upper level, with the bridges and the ledges and all that stuff, and then you can also traverse it through the underwater system, which is really kind of neat. So I like how the two bleed back and forth like that. Most of the secrets, two of the three secrets can be found underwater, by the way, except the quad damage, which is conveniently by the silver door. You want to use the quad damage for the silver door. Anyways, that's it for this map, so we will continue on. To the Necropolis. So until the next video, until we see each other again in more of the Quake 100% walkthrough, I'm Big Mac Davis here, and I will see you when I see you guys. So, take care, everybody.